let me out alone Cause where you go is where I go Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Candice and today I'm bringing you part two of my fall clean and decorate series. So we are in my formal dining room as you can see behind me. It's a hot mess right now. I've got everything laid out. Um, but we're going to focus on the formal dining room today, cleaning and decorating. Um, I have a tablescape that I kind of have in mind that I want to do. I haven't perfected it yet. So we'll kind of do that in this video. Um, it will be vlog style just because those are easiest for me when it comes to my decorating. That way I can just walk us through everything we're doing. I will link everything down below that I use in today's video. Um, it is, I'm in a t-shirt, you guys. I'm kind of a hot mess today. I got the messy bun. We're just a mess because we're in Texas and we're sweating like you wouldn't imagine. It's 105 degrees outside. But I do have this really cute fall t-shirt on, so I will link this down below for you. It is from Amazon, but when it's 105 degrees outside, we're not wearing sweaters. Like if you're putting on a sweater to decorate and it's 110 outside, you're crazy. I'm not doing that. So t-shirt and jean shorts. Messy bun, getting things done. It's that type of video. Um, thank you so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and I can't wait to share this fall tablescape with you guys. Okay, so first things first, we're going to clear all this out. I'm going to wipe down the table. I'm gonna do the floors in here, but I'm gonna wait until we're done because I know there's gonna be glitter and whatever is gonna fall over the floor. Um, so we'll clear this out, we'll wipe this down. I wanna clear this mirror, clean this mirror as well. Oh, also, if you've been here for a while and y'all knew that we had axolotls in this tank, they unfortunately passed away. Um, so my husband changed it and y'all know he loves his aquariums, he loves his saltwater fish. So so we actually have a really pretty lionfish in here now. He's very pretty. He's upside down, but um, so far he's doing pretty good. He will get a friend in here, but it has to be a certain type of friend because they are, um, they're like more vicious fish and you can't put certain things in there with them or they will eat them. So right now he's just hanging out. Um, but yeah, the axolotls unfortunately are in axolotl heaven. Um, but anyway, so we'll clean up in here. I'm going to share with y'all some of the items that we're going to use. And then toward the, at the end when I'm done, I'll walk you through everything that I've done. just show you some of the stuff that we're using um i don't exactly know how it's going to work out yet but this is stuff that we're going to definitely use so we are using these white chargers i did get these from amazon i think they are so pretty with the way the design is um we're going to use these napkins um i have had these i use these for my summer tablescape so they're like a light gray a little bit of shimmer but not too much but they look really pretty up against the white chargers um these are going to be the um napkin rings that we use i got these from hobby lobby i shared these before um i think it's going to be really pretty contrast and colors look really cute like that so these are fun um we are using the garland that i have over here as well ignore the mess over here it's hanging on the mantle so that will kind of tie in the living room and the formal dining room together and then i'm going to add some of these picks 
that I have. So I have this style and then I have like this hay um, just to kind of make it a little more full. So we're gonna try to do that. Um, these are going to be the placemats that we use. This is really cute wicker. I think it's gonna look great with this white around it. It's gonna really soften it up. Sorry, the lighting is weird right now. Um, and then this is just some random pumpkins. We may use these, we may not. I also have these fun acorns. There's six of them. You're supposed to put them at each little place setting, so I may use those. And then of course, some filler pumpkins. So this is so far what we've got. And then over here, no, not you. Um, I'm either gonna use this white runner Maybe this gray runner, probably this white one because I think this is gonna be too much with all the leaves. So um, I got this from Amazon. I think I used it for my Christmas, maybe, um, tablescape, but it's really pretty. I'll link it as well. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that, that you miss y'all through what all we did i feel like we kept it very simple but it still is making a big impact i like how this turned out um so i'll just start right here with our setting so we have the wicker placemat from hobby lobby we have the white chargers with the pretty design from amazon these are just plastic um these silver grayish napkins very neutral um they, i feel like they look really good because i my other option was to do plain white but i feel like it would blend too much into the plate so these actually have some texture to them to where they kind of stick out a little bit and then of course our really cute napkin holders um i just did blessed and thankful and just kind of um alternated at each um set 
at each chair. Um, but I think this looks really good. And then I added these wine glasses. So these are half, you can see it's like half clear and half black. I thought those were so pretty and it brings out the black beads and the napkins. So it kind of ties it all together. I usually don't put like glasses over here because no one sits here. No one will sit here. It's very, just for looks. Um, but I feel like these give it just that little extra glam touch to it. If I can find these on Amazon, I'll link them for you. They're one of our favorite wine glasses that we use. And then moving on to the centerpiece, I just use this very simple white um, table runner. This is from Amazon. I love how pretty and like just very simple it looks. I use that um, garland that I have on the mantle. I just wrapped it in a circle type of look because my runner was shorter than I had realized. So if you have a longer runner, you can keep this um, garland spread out long and then kind of do your picks in and fill in a, a more longer version. But for me, I had to kind of just shorten it up a little bit and then i took this um pumpkin from if y'all watched my other video it was on another table but i just like it better in here i think it goes really good with the colors and then i use those picks as you can see just to kind of fill in some space um some little filler pumpkins just to make it look nice and full i think it looks so beautiful and it was so simple um but yeah, everything looks so good. I love how it turned out. I will link whatever I can down below for you guys. Um, leave me a comment if you think I should add anything or just let me know what you think. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Okay, so I just tidied up the bar area. I just wiped it down with the Mr. Clean Cleaner and then I vacuumed and mopped in here. Um, I decided to put a cute, I wasn't gonna do anything over here, but I found this cute little pumpkin and I forgot that she lights up. So how pretty is this? And it's over here, she's, uh, she. The pumpkin is very like glam, like that um, silvery soft look and it goes um, just with the vibe over here in the bar I feel like the bar the bar is very glam and elegant and then I just moved this wallflower over here because it kind of matches um, but I think it looks really cute and I love that it glows and it gives like this pretty little ambiance over here okay so I do want to share this really cute cowboy skeleton so this is not fall decor this is halloween decor um i'll have to put him up here in a little bit but i just have him by the wine wall because he's so 
cute. I got him at At Home and I am able to link from At Home now so I can link him down below if you want to get him shipped to you before the Halloween season. Look how cute he is, especially if you live in like Texas. He is definitely in his cowboy attire and I think he's so cute. So he's gonna go on the front porch this year and I'll share that video, the Halloween front porch. Um, it'll be in a few weeks, so. But I wanted to show y'all on here too because he is so cute in case y'all wanted to get your hands on him. Okay, you guys, this is where we are wrapping up today's fall. Clean and decorate with me. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope it gave you some ideas for your fall decor this year. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.